you're getting some girls coming to you and then in the camera you're saying these girls are so easy i just offer them like free food like they kind of get it right <laughs> Mis amores, it's Maria from the Una Spanish School and today I'm going to help you to get your Colombian woman. I'm going to help you to pick up women in the streets of Medellin because as you can see, I know all about it, right? No, I'm not an expert. So we have to bring some expert into the panel. If you only want to make boom boom, it's going to cost. But if you have patience and can take it easy and speak and have some drinks with them, then you don't have to, you know, pay to share these kind of skills so necessary for the development of the men of today. And for that, we are going to bring this YouTuber called Roberto versus the world. So the guy is obsessed with Colombian women. A mí me gusta solo las mujeres, hermano. <laughs> I cannot blame him. And my, my goal in this video it's to hold my positions as a woman. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I'm going to help him with his Spanish. So for some context, Roberto is a guy who travels around the world and has a passion for picking up women. Uh, and he took his time to learn some Spanish so he can uh, do it more efficiently. Kudos for you. Uh, and in my opinion, he has done a very interesting job. If I were his teacher, I would be sort of proud, at least for the knowledge, not necessarily for the practice of the knowledge. <laughs> it's muy fácil, mira. Muy fácil, pero ellas no gusta la cámara, pero qué importa. But you see how easy it is, man. I took this video that it's called Picking Up Bodies in Medellin. That's the video I am, I'm not gonna say I'm reacting to because I don't want to put personal views on the matter. I just want to help you improve your Spanish and help whoever wants to also communicate with Colombians improve their Spanish. So let's go with the video. Where are Okay, 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 I have, <laughs> I'm going to react the whole video. Um, so, that's great. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Quieres comer algo? That's a great uh, invitation, that's a great comment, a uh, great icebreaker. And the girl answers something very Colombian. Ay, que rico, we all, we say that for almost everything, I guess. Ay, que rico, it means like, mmm, nice, mmm, yummy, mm, I like the idea. Ay, que rico is basically, it's mostly for, it's like yummy like literal translation so let's go a little back vamos con ella and then she say oiga pero deje de grabar she's saying him like stop stop filming well he's translating um a other thing but she says uh, but like stop filming stop filming so youtuber bien youtuber en cuántos años tienes 21, wow, encantado, mucho gusto. Soy Roberto. Vamos a comer. Vamos, yo, yo, yo me invito. Mucho gusto, yo me, me llamo Roberto. the girls he's trying to record they're gonna say ay que pena que pena it's like i'm shy like i'm i'm embarrassed uh, how embarrassed i am so that's kind of what they want to say um <laughs> YouTuber. This is a mistake I've seen a lot in, his, in in videos, but also some of my students make it and also some people who I hear speaking do. Soy bien. Soy un buen YouTuber o soy bueno o soy buena. Uh, in this case, it's soy un buen YouTuber. Si? ¿Sí? Soy un buen YouTuber. No tengo muchos seguidores. You see, guys, it did not even take one minute. It not even one minute. This is not like a... 
you said you were not going to do this. But okay, just side note, uh, in Colombia, most people don't necessarily speak fluent English and a lot of them are very shy. Yet, English is still taught at schools so people understand. And if you are getting some girls coming to you and then in the camera you're saying these girls are so easy, I just offer them like free food, like they kind of get it, right? But I saw the girls um, being very, like he said, followers. Tengo muchos seguidores. They were already like, I don't, oh my God, I'm going to be online. So I guess also was that. <laughs> Amor, amor, ¿no vienes? <laughs> okay, anyways, so that's an interesting thing. He picked up on a local word that was amor, amor. Yes, I mean, it seems a little invasive. In my case, I'm from Bogota and I don't like when people straight all call me. I, You don't know me and you go like, oh, hey, amor, my love. I'm like, Do I know you? <laughs> so, um... But in Medellin, that's such a common thing to do to strangers. Even girls will approach strangers and sell them, hey, amor, ay, mi vida. Like, also girls will approach girls when they want to sell them something in stores. I'm my queen, reina, princesa, ven. Like, that's some interesting thing. It's an interesting dynamic. And he picked up on that. And he was, he used it uh, correctly, amor. Like, some sort of, like, filtricious also. Ellas no les gusta la cámara. ¿Y tú no tienes novia? ¿Yo? Novia. ¿Novia? Sí. Well, anyways, a uh, survival skill. If you want to ask someone if they have a boyfriend, tú no tienes novio. O no, no tienes novio, ¿verdad? You don't have a boyfriend, right? No tienes novia. You don't have a girlfriend. No pasa nada. Okay, my friend. No pasa nada, no pasa nada. It's like chill, it's okay, no pasa nada. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hey, yo tengo una pregunta. Si yo puedo eh, pregu eh, hablar con mi YouTube contigo, poco. Una pregunta nada más. Bueno. Hola, tengo una pregunta. ¿Puedo hablar contigo? Uh, eh, y ponerte en YouTube. Okay, this is gonna take a little more worse than he wants to. Puedo hablar contigo um, y usar YouTube. O puedo eh, grabarte para YouTube. I creo que eso, that will be more, um, that will be more logical with the context. No, no, no. Okay. ¿Por qué no? No, no, no. Again, me da pena. I'm embarrassed. Me da pena. What? ¿Cómo se llama este, 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 este? Plaza Botero. Plaza Botero. This is like in the city, like in the. ¿Cómo se llama este sitio? Another um, survival sentence that you can use. ¿Cómo se llama? Hola. Mucho gusto. Great ice very great icebreaker. Hola, mucho gusto. ¿Cómo es de aquí? Wow, aquí tenemos una paisa 100%. Sabes que yo viajo a todo el mundo. Pero ¿Sabes que Yo viajo por todo el mundo. ¿Y qué vas a hacer hoy? Eh, vamos a salir con mis amigos a normal. Yo soy poco nervioso normalmente, yo no soy nervioso. Porque yo vivo en Italia. This is an um, uh, emotion. So you say estoy with emotions. Yo estoy nervioso. If you say soy una persona nerviosa, soy muy nerviosa, means like you're generally someone very anxious, nervous kind of uh, personality. But in this case, he means at the moment, yo estoy nervioso. Yo no he encontrado. I can tell that he learned Spanish very fast and it's hard when you are, I mean, it's cool because you're in a hurry and you just want to communicate. But then I know it's hard to build the more complex sense, like yo he estado, yo he sido, and subjunctives, that is even like. So in this case, he's trying to say, I have been in Thailand, yo he estado. Oh, he's the Brazil, all oh, right. That's a shocker for me. 
<laughs> because oh, wow that explains a lot I okay if you know this guy um, write in the comments because uh, Portuguese and Spanish are very similar and if I go to Brazil and I listen to Portuguese I, I understand and I don't feel like oh, I have to learn Portuguese so I kind of just like go with the flow and just like answer and pick up a little like the rhythm that like Portuguese has half a different rhythm than Spanish but I feel like this guy did sort of that he's just like learn on the go and that's why he makes these kind of mistakes now I get it because as a as a person who speaks Portuguese you don't really you're not very much confused about the grammar we have semi similar grammars so he just have to choose the right words which he does but I'm a little um I'm, I'm surprised I thought it was going to be easier to learn Spanish when you know Portuguese <laughs> Thailandeso. Well, Thailandes. Just that's uh that's that's tricky. But that was very good though. Que música te gusta? Luna. Luna. Okay. Yo voy a hablar contigo después. Dale. Yo voy a estar allí como cinco días. Ah, dale. Vale, gracias. Chao. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es Dale. Estamos colombianos ahora. Tienes muy bonita sonrisa. Tienes una hermosa sonrisa. Uh, I know he's abusing a little bit this bien bueno. Blah, blah, blah. We have a little, we're very picky a little that bien y bueno. But yeah, I really like uh, the, the words he's picking up from locals. And you can say she also says a lot of vale, vale. That's like, okay, okay, cool, okay, vale. Again, mix with serie start. Somos colombianos, and because it is a uh, nationality, somos colombianos. <laughs> the guy is so uncomfortable. Like the guy who's saying, like, yeah, uh, accordion, when he's trying to. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment more on that, but it's like, as a seller, you're like, just buy my stuff and leave. <laughs> But 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 I have to pinpoint what this guy said the local que le vaya bien que le vaya bien that's a subjunctive you're gonna hear a lot que le vaya bien is like I wish you well and he's wishing he's using vaya and subjunctive that is quite like a nightmare. <laughs> The right way to say it is quiero pedirte el número. Pedir is to ask for. We don't do the English thing, uh, can I ask for your number? But we asking for in Spanish is pedir. Yeah? Ask is preguntar. So we don't ask, can I ask your number? We ask for. I've seen this 
subtitles and to be completely fair i have no idea if these girls are saying that maybe they are it's just the audio is very hard to hear <laughs> Maybe it's just me, whatever. But I feel Colombians, we are very friendly. Maybe more than we should. And we are very friendly. So if, yeah, we're very chill too. And I don't want to bring my personal life. But uh, that's, these things had happened to me before. Like people asking me for my number. And I, I'm so like innocent to think, oh, we're going to be friends. We're going to be fun. And like there's these guys with the like hidden intentions of using and stuff. It's like, oh, wow. But anyways... Don't let my experience scare you. Um, Colombians are very friendly. That's why I say we're just not just friendly, but relaxed, chill. We like to make friends. We're very open. We're like, we're not square. Like you have to meet me this time. This, no, we're just like, oh, you know, spontaneous. And so I'm not surprised they're giving him, they are giving him their number. Um, it's just to, they, they feel it's like someone who they can have fun with, right? I think that's how you have to lead. I'm fun, I'm, I'm someone uh, trustworthy, and they're gonna treat you right. And well, I'm not sure if they are thinking to get laid with him, like that, that's not, not my expertise. But um, I think, I do think that if you travel to Colombia, you want to work and be more open to girls, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good place to just kind of uh, get out of your shell. What number do you want to have? Well, if he really wants to say that, it's like, el numero de quien quieres? De quien, like who? No, like, which number do you want to have, but whose number you want to have? El numero de quien? De quien, en, de quien quieres el numero? El numero de quien quieres? Allá? Hola. Eh, mira, habla con ella, tú puedes hablar español. Actually, it's like me da pena con la cámara. I'm embarrassed of the camera. Like maybe this could have had a happy ending. Like I, I mean, at least what I mean with a happy ending is like she could have gave him her number if he was not like pointing the camera on her face. Um, as a girl, this is a little uncomfortable situation because you don't know if you're gonna end up in a crazy YouTube channel with crazy people commenting about you. So it's like. I don't know, but... Again, again, so the guy is just following along, but we all know again, ask for pedir, ask, preguntar. Eh, Te puedo hacer una pregunta? Can I ask you a question? Uh, y I need to ask you for money. Quiero pedir de dinero. So this guy is like, girls don't ask me for money. No, las chicas no me piden pedir dinero. And well, the guys, the local is just following, following along. Aquí en la 70, en Colombia. Solo en eh, el parque llena, ¿sabes que ahí va? Sí, pero parque llena, las chicas es guapas, pero pregunta. Eh, sí. Las chicas son guapas. Muchas, muchas de ellas, pero hay club en el que no... Mira, tú eres mi seguridad, tú eres mi más bien amigo de... We had that uh, interesting insight. Hope you have enjoyed it. 
Let me know in the comments what do you think. Ideally, if you want to also learn Spanish while you watch this video, you have taken notes and you have um, pinpoint like the kind of questions that you can ask uh, to a local and how they might answer and catch a little bit on the accent that I know this be very fast in the video. So it was, it was just so you can have a glimpse of what happens. As always, it has been an honor to join you in this video of the Spanish school and hopefully I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.